What's going on, y'all? Today is my seventh Sandhill Crane hunt. I've had an opportunity to kill one two days ago and uh, didn't hit. So, this has been a struggle. It's definitely been a struggle to get one. But if you didn't know, Kentucky and Tennessee are the only two states in the eastern population of Sandhill Cranes that allows people to hunt. You gotta put in for a drawing and um, like I said it is tough to kill one it's it's like it's like hunting a big deer or something like that they are super smart they will pick up on anything anything that's out of place like the last few days I think the reason why they hadn't been coming in completely is because my GoPro was showing out of the top of the blind so I'm gonna lay down further in the blind I apologize guys because the GoPro is going to be in the blind with me you might not be able to see as much but uh I've discovered that they are literally the smartest bird I've ever hunted. So I've got to do everything I can to get them in here. And um, then when I pull up to shoot, you'll be able to see then. They should start flying here in the next 30 minutes. So uh, let's see what we can do. I'm excited. Smoked him. Woo! -hoo -hoo! You going on the wall, buddy? Son. You are a beautiful bird. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. All right, I can kill one more this year. Just go ahead and try to do it today.
Game over, baby! Let's go! This is what my whole season has pretty much been dedicated to. Got me another one right here. That was a headshot for sure. Oh yeah. Look at the freaking pellets in the head. You know what, boys? I'm gonna go ahead and make this a kill, clean, and cook video. Let's do that. I'm gonna go make a steak today. An old Sand Hill Crane steak. <sighs> I gotta give thanks to God on that one. I've been talking to him all week. Hunting by myself has been actually really nice. Um, not that I don't like hunting with all the guys. Obviously I do, otherwise I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but hunting by myself, you know how you get out in a deer stand or, or uh, you're out in a turkey blind or whatever and uh, and you, you just feel, if you're religious, you, you feel close, close to God, close to nature. And I've been experiencing that pretty much all week long. So it's, it's different. It, it's, it's really different doing it yourself, by yourself. And you don't have anybody to rely on if you miss. You gotta hit. It just makes it that much that much more fulfilling when you actually do so I've really enjoyed doing it by myself this week uh, it's been nice Since decoys picked up I'll lay them over by the road so that sand hills don't pick up on what I'm doing gotta call these birds in put them on my hunting license I'm tagged out for the year boys that's it Okay guys, so I'm back at my house and uh, I'm gonna breast this uh, sand hill out. I already put the other one in the freezer. By the way, it took up almost my whole freezer. <laughs> so I gotta take this thing to the taxidermy real soon. But uh, I'm gonna breast this thing out and throw it on the grill. Me and my fiance are gonna sit down and eat us some crane for uh, lunch today. It's gonna be awesome. I don't know if I'm more excited about getting the one mounted or if I'm more excited about uh, about eating this i have heard for my whole life that sandhill crane is the ribeye of the sky so if so i can't wait See why people call it the ribeye of the sky now. That is some good looking meat. I'm gonna find where that joint's at there. Break it. Yes. That's some good meat there. Look at all that meat on that leg. That's a lot of meat on a leg. All right guys, so I got them on indirect heat right now. Put some, I'm gonna put some salt, put some garlic powder on there and some bl black pepper on there just like I'm grilling a steak. And that's it, that's all that's gonna go on it. All right, I got them cooking on indirect heat, 400 degrees. Well, it says 200 now, but it'll, it'll warm back up once I close the lid. I have a feeling this is gonna taste awesome. Especially after I've hunted these things seven days now. <laughs> They're not an easy bird to kill. So we're gonna cook a little bit on the other side. My dude. <clears throat> Sitting here grilling some sandhill crane. Really? Yes, oh, sir. Of the sky, right? That's right. <laughs> All right. I'll flip these. These 
these right here are done. Ready to eat. I'm sure of that. Yeah, those are going to be awesome. Those are um, Sandhill Crane wings. All right, so while we're waiting on the uh, Sandhill Crane breasts and stuff to get done, I'm going to try one of these wings out. It's a little bit of meat, but it looks like it's going to be good. Mmm. That is good. That's good. Alright. What we got here? Alright, boys. The Sandhill Crane Breasts and the Thigh. Are done. Yep. That's gonna be juicy. Alright guys, I'm skinning this single crane right now and my plan is to make a stuffer decoy out of it. I've never in my life done any kind of taxidermy, so this is just gonna be just something off uh, off the wall for me, something I've never tried. I'm just gonna I mean it ain't gotta be pretty, but it'll be something extra to add to the spread uh, when I hunt sandhill cranes again um, because sandhill crane decoys are expensive so everyone I kill if I skin it out I could make a really good sandhill crane spread eventually you know if I have several good years like I did this year so uh, that'd be really cool it's good enough all right look what we got here In this, I'm gonna make me a stuffer decoy. <laughs> the ribeye of the sky. Got a thigh right there too. What do you think about it, No? It's good. It tastes. It has like tenderness in there, and it's got a strong. It's got a taste to it, but it's not strong. It's not like duck. No, it don't. Yeah. Um. It's great. It's. It's really freaking good, y'all. I already had one bite. This not even taste like That's taste. definitely the best bird I have ever had. Wow. It, it doesn't even taste like that. That's better than turkey. That's better than chicken. Uh -huh. That's better than duck. It's better than goose. That is a really, really good, good bird meat. My gosh, it tastes like a steak with a little like, with a little twang to it is what I feel like. I don't even think like it tastes like bird at all. You know no, it does not taste like bird at all. Not not at all. I have not tried the thigh yet, but I am extremely impressed with this steak. That's great. Thank you all for watching, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, got the Quack Attic shirt on right here, the original shirt. Uh, if you haven't already, slide over to our website, grab you some gear. Anything you buy goes directly towards helping us get on good hunts for next year. And also, slide over to huntershotsale.net. You can use our discount code QUACKADDICTS, all caps, to get 5% off your order over there. Appreciate y'all watching this video, guys. It's been awesome. The reward of killing those two sandhill cranes today, one for my wall, and one to make um, this awesome steak is, is all, I mean, it's just, the feeling is not describable. I'm so happy right now. So, what? I'm overwhelmed. It really was an awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Check your bear, press six. Get your chicken stanchel crane, press seven. Woo! You selected stanchel crane.